This year I thought I'd get a little more video, maybe a picture or two as well, of the yard. That hibiscus at the end of the yard has uh, petered out, well not petered out necessarily, but it's, I've cut some of the blooms off. It's going to restart, hopefully, and get some more stuff going. But the roses and baskets and the hydrangeas are really going crazy now. We even have Easter lilies, oddly enough. Seems strange, but we do. Hibiscus all around, of course hydrangeas. It's so bright it's hard to see, but there's more hibiscus here. And something called lemon zest, which is kind of pretty. Found those at Home Depot. And the hydrangeas are really getting big. miscellaneous flowers all throughout these are the blue agapanthus I think it is there's a white one not blooming as fast as that one for some reason this is just a beautiful hydrangea here beautiful plants got huge petals really pretty I'm gonna cut a couple of those and see if I can dry them maybe gardenias back here hiding in the back background got more agapanthus and hanging baskets pretty flowers there this is gonna be a mum that's gonna be incredible I'll take pictures of that when that blooms this white flower just volunteered in this sago palm. It was just a sago palm with a little tiny flower in it. I let it grow and watered it and look what it did. I forgot to film these. I thought these are some of the prettiest flowers. We've got uh, these uh, Elysium growing up. I planted seed and they've just sprouted up. And then these things are so pretty. Alex planted these and they're just a beautiful setting. Such a delicate flower. Real pretty colors. Yellow and blue. Kind of a purple here. Really pretty. Just along this side near this hibiscus, it's maybe beyond its prime. There's some real pretty flowers in here. Of course there's flowers all throughout this bed here too. Got some Lilicium I planted in here. We'll see if they're going to grow in that dark spot there. They're not going quite as fast as these here that get a little bit more sun. These Elysium are pretty here. Got some purple. I like the low purple and white. This is the prettiest. This is my prettiest favorite flower right there. Yellow and purple. And these just volunteered from last year. They sprouted from their own seeds that were hanging in a basket above there I believe last year. Then we've got these hanging baskets that are a sight to behold. These were from Lowe's and they just are enormous baskets. Can't zoom out enough to see them. And they've got these big things sprouting off of them that almost look like weeds but they're sort of pretty. I could easily cut them out if I wanted. This basket didn't get quite as big. Didn't have quite as many flowers as this one. But they're all pretty. And these two things here need to be replanted or redone or something. Of course we've always got the little geraniums here on the side by the faucet. Then we got more. We have more uh, hydrangeas. This one here is kind of a purpley purpley color hopefully shooting toward a blue is what we've been wanting to try and do now there's not enough sun out here to film these too well but this is the hydrangea out front in front of mother's window look how big it is it's huge it's got some really beautiful blossoms on it it's quite the showpiece of the yard
it's a real pretty yellow daylily. Just had the walkway redone too. I guess that's worth filming. Had it redone with this uh, kind of a concrete like material, concrete topping, cementitious material it's called. Anyway, there's another hydrangea. This one also is a little bit more blue. The ones in the front, we've got a little bit more blue looking. And this one's just starting. Just starting to bloom. Probably doesn't get quite as much light, although they don't like a lot of light. But this one really will be almost a blue color, which is really what I've been shooting for. I amend the soil with fertilizer for acid loving plants. They don't like too much alkaline, they like the acid, acidic sort of soil. So, then we have my front flower bed by Jim's house with the Elysium and the hibiscus. This hibiscus is really done well. It was just a transplant out of a basket <coughs> and it's really getting big. Of course the blood banana is going to be really gorgeous. It's really doing nicely now. It's finally taken hold real nice. They got a lot of pretty kind of wildflower like uh, Elysium. Again planted from seed a lot of those. The short ones are the ones that are planted from Home Depot. The taller ones are the ones that came from seed. So just goes to show you don't always know what you're going to get from seed. And there's more in the back there too that we planted. And there's the usual agapanthus and society garlic. This is a real pretty scene here. This whole front area really pretty with these agapanthus. Then we got the Elysium and the whatever that thing is in front of the fence, I forget. But Anyway, the front porch looks a lot nicer now that it's all re redone with the bench and the whole bit. It's pretty. And the ficus trees and so forth. The yard's starting to look pretty. Bermuda's finally coming back after that other stuff. The uh, Right, winter rye. Jim printed, planted lots of pretty flowers yesterday too. I should take photos, I guess. With the car there, it's kind of hard to get a nice front view of the whole thing without also standing back in the sun. Have a pretty view even with the trash cans. Kind of a pretty view with all the flowers. I think we've got a pretty nice looking yard. Gives you a pretty good panorama there. Chelsea, what you doing? What you doing, Chelsea? Come here. Come on. Good girl. What you doing, you good girl? Good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. Silly girl. Oh, you got a sneeze? Are you cold? Do you have a cold? What's the matter? You got a cold? Silly girl, go get him, go get him. Go get doggy, go see the doggy. Hurry, get him. Woo! Go get him.
Here we are on Penelope's birthday, actually actual birthday, July 25th. I think it's recording, yeah. Marty's here from Atlanta. Marty, what are you doing there? Jim and Jan have come over. The next movies will be in Hawaii. Can't see with all the smoke and the. Go early. Go go early because I'm going to him there. I was talking to our, my boss. Dance there? When this week on a weekend? And he went, no, he's dead. Oh, he went, no, he's dead. Yeah. If you got there early, you're going to be in line for probably 45 minutes from the next Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the trolley down. I'm the planner of the two, so I'm going to be right on the early schedule. We've got to be down the trolley station. We're going to pick it up at 8. We'll get down to convention center. Kids have been playing little, uh, I forget what you call it. Anyway, now they're hiding in the closet in here. Who, me? Hello there. There's Ethan. Because it's only for adults. It's only for adults because it's too hot. Yeah. Well, I know, but it's it's not allowed. It's against the rules. Pabla. No, you're not. No children in there ever. Period. I don't know. She's not. She's not supposed to. Well, you're probably not supposed to. Don't they have a sign that says "No children in the jacuzzi"? Of course, you've gone in our jacuzzi, but that's—we're not violating the law. I'm not sure I can get you very well in the dark. Let's see if I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank yeah. You. It's a little dark under the umbrella. I'll see anything that's why I'm not here. No, yeah, me too. I'll see anything that says no kids allowed in the jacuzzi. Uh, I bet I can find so, uh, something. Oh, you broke them. I guess I got you. Okay, I'm going to get some more of you there. While you're six months pregnant, or you're seven now, why don't you stand up and we can see. Six and a half? Where's the half? <laughs> Which part is the half? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you stuck? Oh, here. Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. Just hop over, Jen. <laughs> oh, really? I am. I'll film your pizza. This is really entertaining movies here. There's Josh hiding behind the... It's kind of dark in there, but... Dark under the umbrella. That's their apartment right there. Under the green chairs. There it is. <laughs> Following you. Smile. Are you hiding behind the? Come on, look here. Got gotcha. you. Over here, Penelope. Oh, 
Good. Cassie does I can take I can take pictures and movies at the same time. <laughs> Well, you just have all kinds of things to entertain yourself, don't you? <laughs> Sudoku, knitting. Hello there. Yeah. She'll see this at our house. No, you. I think you only knew this last rehab, right? Okay, because he had a rehab before. Look at Larry. But yeah, they just decided it, you know, and then so those two did their homework and tried to find a place that they could get started and buy a home and have a family and stuff that w wasn't going to um, put them in the courthouse. And they found that Austin was cheaper. And that's what they said. Mm -hmm. He said Austin, Texas. It's the capital city of Texas. All the way around here. You know, that's what I said because I've been there before and I wouldn't want to live there. But you know what? Young people are much worse. In Austin? Yeah, around it. Whose birthday is it? Raise your hand if it's your birthday. Hey, Ethan raises his hand. Well, congratulations, Ethan. Do you know anyone else whose birthday it is today? No, because it's ice cream. Huh? <laughs> oh, you're how do you good lord, that's the biggest piece of yeah, cake I ever a, saw. We'll be here for an hour while you I eat know, that. Good <laughs> grief, I may have to help with that. Okay, no oh. Oop, uh oh, uh oh. Oop. 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 No red hair. Penelope, what's that in your hair? Uh flower. <laughs> yeah. You love my Penelope. You're gonna get carpal tunnel. Yours, so Did you bring hers in? Oh, you know what? I have to come and hunt it. Oh, you got it. You already got it. I can come and yeah. I should have brought the electric knife.
Yeah, maybe Ellie would like to sing too. Very professional. Let's try it again. Flowers are sure pretty. What's your name? The yard is pretty. It looks very nice. Here we go. Here we are at the island colony, our first full day at Waikiki. And we got our room here with the balcony and king size bed and a refrigerator <coughs> when they're going to start painting on Monday. So we got uh, moved to a room on the 39th floor. So that'll be really nice. Of course, the view here is just about unparalleled. We have uh, rainbow right now up in the mountains. It's beautiful. And it's always nice to see. We went the other side today and saw Sharon and picked up our chairs, nice chest and stuff like that. And we got a great view from this room. We'll have an even better one from the 39th floor. We're on the 36th floor. We're in 3615. We're going to be in 3619. I mean, we're going to be in 3919 starting Sunday. You can see San Sushi Beach off of uh, Capulani Park and the natatorium and all of that. And there's the Princess Kaimana. Looks like they're having sailboat races this evening. Of course we can see a good bit of Waikiki Beach, uh, the surf anyway, and of course the Royal Hawaiian. It's always good to see. We went to the Alamo to the Moana Surfrider last night and had fish and chips and calamari and Lots of sailboats racing today. Mid or uh, sunset, sunset race. Always love a view of Diamond Head, no matter what. back out of the breeze there. You can see all of Diamond Head from the balcony, from the lanai. You can even see the water on the uh, eastern shore there. We'll have an even better view of that from the 39th floor, of course, which will be nice. And the Alawai Canal, of course, and the golf course. It's about six o'clock in the afternoon or evening. Probably haven't reset the clock on this thing. <laughs> Take your picture. Just 
realized I wasn't taking pictures, I was turning the camera on and off. So I'll fix that, take a picture of that rainbow. There we go. Of course we can see the uh, uh, international marketplace as well. I've never taken high definition video from here, of course, before. Here's the pool. Ooh, I don't want to lose my hat. I nearly lost my hat. A little breezy. Here's some racers. Six people per boat, looks like. A lot of people on the golf course still too. There goes the super ferry for its morning run to Maui. Making a pretty good clip. Barge with cargo. Tugboat. Sun's just starting to come up over the horizon. Early morning in Waikiki. About six, I think. Take a photo.
she is sunbathing on Punalu'u Beach. Big, long beach. Lots and lots and lots of space. It's Sunday today. Ready for what? Okay. Here we are at Sunset Beach. Doing a little slip and slide here, right on the beach. They got their own plastic tarp. And they've run their hose across the street. From their house, I guess. <laughs> it's funny, only in Hawaii. Very funny. Hey. I missed this kid going down there. <laughs> Getting ready to go. Yeah, there are manta rays in the water. Right near that swimmer. No, I lost them. Shoot, wouldn't you know, as soon as I get the camera. There they are. There it is. There they are. Oh, shoot. I lost them now. There they are. Yeah, huh? Interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. Right on the surface. Here we are at the park at the top of the hill at Round Top. Say hello, Alex. What'd you do there? You fall down? <laughs> you can see Diamond Head through the trees there. Alex pose here for take a photo there. This would be a nice panoramic view for a house, huh? Yeah. Sure would. Probably the property alone would cost about fifty million.
beautiful day up here today. Seldom this clear up here. There's the island colony. With the A frame on the roof. We're on the 39th floor. The, the blue roof on top, yep. Yeah. No. There's the airport. Pearl Harbor. There's beach over there at the airport. Mm -hmm. Funny thing is this bike here, see there's a bike on this bike rack right near where we parked and I came up and looked at it and the, this bike here has probably been on the, uh, you know, it's attached to the bike rack nice and carefully. It's probably been there for months because every single item that can be removed from that bike is gone. I mean the wheels and the pedals, even the actual pedals that go on the pedals, of course the seat, and the handlebars, the whole the whole front end, the whole top where the handlebars would go and the steering wheel, all that stuff, all of that is gone. Even even the front end of the bike, the actual part where the wheel, front wheel assembly would go is also gone. Just about everything that can possibly be removed from that bike is gone. Just thought that was kind of funny. Pretty day today. Sat out at the Halicoa and had chicken wings and chicken wings. Unfortunately, the Happy Bar was closed. Our favorite fried chicken locale closed for renovation. So we had to go without. We had chicken wings instead. So, anyway. And a lot of ambulances this trip, we've noticed. So, anyway, we parked in the Halicoa parking lot today. So, pretty warm out there. The breeze kind of died down and left it uh, got, getting a little bit warm. The Trump Tower is just getting up there as far as height is concerned. I don't know what level that would be, but certainly making a lot of progress from last year, though not completed. They probably had less than half of that from last year. So, but anyway, they're still moving along with that. Doing a lot of heavy construction. Here we are at the Halekoa Lua. Take 
You know that song? I don't know that song. All the right. Also going to talk about our food. Food is called cocoa. Make a bowl with your hand, mix it up, taste it. Guess what? Poi. Mmm. All right, mix it up again, taste it. Guess what? Raw fish. Mmm. And this is the motion for fish, everybody. Da -da -da. Stay out of the Halikua pool. And the big island and the North Shore. Everybody loves the hookilao Where the lao lao and the raw fish mm, and the big luau We blow our nets out into the sea And all the amma amma come swimming to me Oh, we're going to the hookilao The hooky 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 hookilao what a wonderful day for fishing the old Hawaiian way. Hey, all the hooky lao nets go swishing down in old Laie Bay. Oh, we're going through the hooky lao, the hooky 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 lao. Everybody loves the hooky lao Where the lao lao and the kao kao and the big luau We throw our nets out into the sea And all the amma amma come swimming to me Oh, we're going to the hooky lao The hooky 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 Boo! Hooky 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 lao La da 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 Circulating your body and letting it strip, flow to your We spared Tony tonight because usually <laughs> there's like 20 verses in that song. But we just did five, yeah? Tonight, you guys are hanging loose out there. I guess if you finish your mai tai, you must be hanging loose, right? Uh -huh. okay. I'm gonna slow things down and send this next song out to all our couples tonight. Any couples in love? Uh -huh. Any couples in love? Yeah. Okay. So if you're in love and you're with your sweetheart, and I'm gonna start right with you, these two gentlemen. And what is your name, sir? Where are you from? San Antonio. Six, six. Some fans out there. All right, good luck, sir. Singapore. Very good. Very good. Now, I just want to know: um, is Tahitian dancing a very popular thing in Singapore? Tahitian dancing is it popular in Singapore? You dance Tahitian? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> wow, wow, that is good. Lots of fans out there. All right, good. And your name? Fernando. Fernando, where are you from? East Timor. Yeah! East Timor, wow! That is incredible. Where are your fans out there? One more time, let me hear you. Wow, that is great. Uh, do you guys dance to Asia too? You dance to Asia? Yeah, a little bit? Yeah, so you have some prior experience then. <laughs> That's great. Good luck, sir. And your name? Ruba. Where are you from? Originally from Armenia, but live here now. Uh, Armenia and Hawaii! <laughs> Woo! I should have said my charge before tonight, yes. <laughs> but thank you, sir, for coming tonight. Uh, now, where are your fans out there? Where are you do you have family? Wow, all over there, too. That is great. That is great. Thank you, sir. And your name? Travis. Where are you from? DC. DC! 
Good luck, sir. And your name? Larry. Larry, where are you from? San Diego. California! Yes! Wow, you got some fans out there too. Good luck. And your name? Ward Bear. Where are you from? Houston, Texas. Texas! I'll cheer for you, don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> and your name? Brett. Where are you from? Bremerton, Washington. Washington! Oh! Woo! They're everywhere, alright. <laughs> and your name? Mark. Mark, where are you from? The huge metropolis of Oakley, California. <laughs> California! Woo! I'll find you because I will be cheering for you tonight, alright? <laughs> and your name? Grace. Where are you from? Uh, Philadelphia. Awesome. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, there is only one negative thing about tonight's contest. Tonight, there can only be one wine item, but that will be your choice. Let us begin our Hawaiian Idol contest. All right, gentlemen, at this time, I want you all to take three steps forward and make a straight line. Secondly, I want you all to turn around and face the beautiful dancers behind you. <laughs> and last but not least, I need you all to bend your knees. You put your arms over your hips. This is your gentleman that I can be your man. started relocating monkey pond trees to the right side of the bus. So we have, again, three bunkers on the right. But there's also a fourth one coming up on the left side, hiding right in the bush. To settle your curiosity, we don't have any lost fans on board, right? No, right? <laughs> oh, we do, boy. Well, anyway, loss is here. Some view of the blue Pacific Ocean. Wow. Now, I come up here every day, six times a day, and I always enjoy this view. This is one reason why visitors come up to me and say, Hey, cowboy, lucky you live Hawaii. Yeah, thank you very much. I know you want to get off. So if you take some pictures, you're in luck. Because here on the left-hand side, it's Battery Cooper. This entrance, we're going to be here for about 10 Hawaiian minutes.
Hulu or Hule Hule? Pointing right up. Translation of Pu'u or Hule Hule, when the ocean comes together and meet as one. The highest point, 2300 feet. You may have already seen the mountain, but just don't realize it yet. If any of you seen the movie Mighty Joe Young, then you've already saw the movie, okay? I saw the mountain. And Mighty Joe Young, it was Mighty Joe Young's mountain. So take a picture, go back home, match it up with your DVD. It will be a perfect match every time. Pu'u o hule hule. As soon as you come on this side of the island, come through any of one of our tunnels, look up, look up. You'll find waterfalls yeah. right on, mm -hmm. all the way down the mountain range. Just awesome. However, when it's a day like that, the ocean will be a dark, dirty brown, okay? The run of water from the mountains coming in the ocean. But it only lasts like about three days. It'll clear right up again. Hill, a sign is sitting on that hill. Try to imagine a stampede of dinosaurs running down that hill, coming up to the next hill on the right-hand side. In the meantime, the professor and the children are walking up to find out what's going on. And when they see what's going to happen, they, the boy says, they're flocking our way. And immediately they run down the hill, come back this way, and the children will take refuge on the left side of the bus. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you to the world's famous dead tree. <laughs> Jurassic Park 1 was originally filmed on the island of Kauai back in 1992. September 11th, yesterday, 9-11, Hurricane Iniki in 92, a category for devastated the island of Kauai. For that reason, this small segment of Jurassic Park filmed right here on location. If you look up on the left side on the top of the ridge, you'll be able to see my favorite monkey paw tree sitting all the way up on the top of the oh, highest yeah, point. There, my favorite monkey paw tree. Huh. Now you know where it's at. Godzilla's footprint. To what you see it is now. There's another one on the right-hand side. One more up on the hill. The problem occurred at night. The valley is pitch black. Footprints 10 feet in depth. Cows were falling in like flies. Oh. Literally falling in. Every morning we got to come out here at the ranch in the <laughs> valley. Pull up the cows that <laughs> fell in overnight. But Sounds funny. A series of loss. Sorry. I have a TV. In fact, like I have one, two, four TVs in my, in my house. And there's two more down here. Talking about the, the babies, and here they are. Yeah. You guys got a chance to see the long snout? They're down here looking for the passion fruit, the lily kohi, or the papaya. So once they get into the bush, they disappear. Yeah. Alright, at least we had that opportunity. Oh, look at the chicken. Yeah, we got chickens. Dime a dozen. You're real fast. They didn't give you a good time, chance to take pictures because there's a better one here on the left. Check this one out. Kaniwai Bay, ladies and gentlemen. The island in front called Chinaman's Hat. We know it as Moko Lee Island. One time property of the ranch. Today, now a bird sanctuary. We're getting closer to the end of our ride, and I do want to say a big mahalo nui lo. Thank you so very much for joining us this afternoon. Little kids playing in the Swansea Beach Park from about six months old to one year or five years old. Yeah. Yeah. Playing basketball. get there. Folks have a little a couple of tents and a tarp deal over here.
Birdie. 